Not every tank is versatile on the battlefield. You can't scout in the Waffenträger or sneak behind enemy lines in the mouse. If you want to be everywhere on the map during the course of a battle, then you should try a Soviet medium tank. The T-62A, Object 140, and Object 430 form a powerful trio of Tier 10 vehicles that are capable of almost everything. The trickiest thing about these tanks is to understand their differences and choose the right vehicle, the one that will suit you best. They all look quite similar. At first glance, you may think they all have almost exactly the same playstyle because they play the same roles in the battle. Reconnaissance, breakthrough, flanking, and supporting allies. Although their hulls and turrets look pretty much the same, they work differently. They all have good turrets, but the T-62A has the best. With the hemisphere shape and 240 millimeters of armor at the front, it's really hard to penetrate, especially when on the move. This is the T-62A's shield. The turret roof and hatches are weak spots, but opponents will have trouble hitting them. The 140 and 430 have thin roofs that extend down closer to the gun, making their roofs easier to hit. Additionally, their cupolas project up higher, making them even more vulnerable. Keep in mind these weak points and make use of the strong ones. For example, roll to this fold in the terrain on Malinovka and start moving back and forth along the hill, exposing your turret. This will provide constant scouting. This will annoy the enemy team and the ricochets off your turret will fray their nerves, giving you an advantage. Entice them to fire at you, then seize the moment and cause damage. Using your turret armor and high rate of fire, you can take advantageous positions and hold them until your teammates arrive. The hulls of these tanks are less protected than their turrets. However, the 430 stands out as having the thickest front hull armor. At a certain angle, the relative armor thickness is more than 240 millimeters. The thin open strip of the armor between its turret and tracks is heavily sloped, and shells ricochet from it more often than from the other two tanks. The 140's hull is very much like the hull of the 430. Although its front armor is 20 millimeters thinner, it's sloped at a greater angle, so the relative armor protection is 2 millimeters thicker. The T-62A has the weakest front armor, only 200 millimeters of relative armor thickness. Its sides are also easily penetrated because they are at a right angle. Accurate hits to the hull can often lead to fuel tank ignition or ammo rack explosion. As a precaution, consider the safe storage perk and fire extinguisher equipment. To survive, you need to protect your hull, make unexpected random moves back and forth, and turn the hull left and right. This will make it much harder for the enemy to hit you. Constant movement is one of the best ways to survive for all three vehicles. All of them have good dynamics with only minor differences. The 430 and 140 accelerate quickly up to their top speed of 55 kilometers per hour, while the T-62A's top speed is a bit slower, 50 kilometers per hour. The two objects can take advantageous positions faster, but the T-62A is the most maneuverable. When you need to turn fast, the T-62A performs better. All three tanks have the same gun, and it is not a typical Soviet gun. It's accurate, well-stabilized, and quick-firing, causing 320 damage per shot on average. Its penetration value is enough to penetrate most enemy vehicles through the front and will allow you to take out heavy tanks. The rate of fire can deal effectively with an IS-7 or T-110E5, as well as any Tier 9 heavy tank. Average damage per shot is a bit low for Tier 10, 320. However, for every one shot fired at you, you should be able to fire two highly accurate penetrating shots in return. APCR shells are the standard shells for this gun. They fly much faster than ordinary AP shells, making shooting at moving targets a real pleasure. A common situation. Allied heavies are pushing the flank. Suddenly, an enemy scout appears. Everyone slowly traverses their turrets, but no one can get a shot. In a few seconds, enemy artillery is going to start blasting your offensive to bits. The T-62A, Object 140, and Object 430 will deal with the scout at once. Just take aim, fire one or two shots, and your team can move on. Although all three tanks come equipped with the same gun, its performance is different on each vehicle. These differences in gun characteristics are noticeable. The T-62A and 140 are excellent at firing on the move. The 140's gun is better stabilized and more accurate. What should you do if many enemy vehicles are trying to break through your flank? It's no use in hiding and standing still because they will bring you down in seconds. So lock the auto-aim on a less armored target and focus your attention on evasive maneuvers. If you have equipped your Object 140 with a vertical gun 
stabilizer and improved ventilation, and trained your crew with the snapshot and smooth ride skills, your shots will likely hit the target. The 140 is accurate and cool-headed. The Object 430's gun is less accurate. Shooting from long range and on the move won't bring you much success. This tank needs to get much closer to the enemy than its Soviet brothers. At short distances, however, the dispersion won't be so significant, and the 430's performance will improve thanks to its high rate of fire and high damage per minute. So in the Object 430, you should engage your targets at short range for best results. If the T-62A, Object 140, and Object 430 play in a platoon, they become a powerful force that can bring about victory. A platooned Soviet trio can chew through the enemy team like a pack of wolves. All three tanks can change flanks quickly. Good use of the minimap will help you in this. As soon as you see a breach in the enemy lines, seize the opportunity and sneak in behind them to hunt down lonely shrub dwellers, tank destroyers, and artillery. The most important trick is to appear in a position where it will be hard for the enemy team to fall back and defend in time. Pay attention to the deployment of forces. Provide fire support to allied heavy tanks as they attack, and if necessary, defend. The best turrets of any medium tanks. The best accuracy when firing on the move. Impressive rate of fire and damage per minute. Not every tank is versatile on the battlefield. That's true, but not true of this trio. Follow the link to a special page to learn more about the Soviet medium tanks, and choose the vehicle that suits your style of gameplay. See you on the battlefield.